our practice is um, a, a lot of it is digital art. I also do murals, installations, and, um, and mixed media. Um, I like to uh, combine illustration on top of photography. So that's most of it. The piece I did for the mural festival in Nelson is a direct, I want to say, copy. <laughs> I did a copy of a, a digital drawing that I did before. Funny story, when I, um, uh, when I got the phone call that I had the mural and that was accepted for the mural in Nelson, I had to pitch <clears throat> a sketch within the next two weeks which normally would be great timing. But at that time, um, I was right in the middle of putting together a solo, a big solo art show, my first biggest solo art show. So the timing was a little bit stressful. So I did something and I sent it and I was happy with it. But you know, there's always a feeling of like, yes, or like, it's good. And it was, it's good. <laughs> so I sent it. And then I kept working on the art show, kept working on the art show, just uh, creating more. And then there was one piece that I really liked and I sent it and I said, hmm, would you be okay if I did this piece instead? And they were like, yeah, no problem. And I was very relieved because I liked that one so much more. I was like, I don't want to, I don't even want to do the old one anymore, which I, you know, I might not even show anyone ever. <laughs> but yes so in that case it was similar because it was a digital drawing that i made and i translated it in the mural which worked out great um but at other times it can be very different from one medium to the other so it's very hit and miss it's funny because um i just seen a video today of another artist i really like who was describing the same exact feeling and i was like what I'm not, but I'm, I'm not the like, of course, I'm not the only one feeling a certain way, but I thought it was very interesting. And then it kind of um, lit up uh, an idea in my head. I feel like I, now that I think about it, I feel like this is, and I'll get into it in a sec, but this feeling that I'm feeling, I see quite a few other artists feeling it. So I wonder if um, it's a source of inspiration for, you know, the human mind. Um, so what the inspiration is, is uh, when I go out and do all these activities, if I go play outside, I'm in the mountains, you know, my favorite places, you know, favorite places for somebody else could be not in the mountains, but for myself, um, doing all this outdoorsy activities, fuels or like feeds my desire to create. So one doesn't go without the other. The, the more, more outside, like the more time I spend in nature or the more time I spend doing sports outside and having a great time, um, those are usually the feelings that I will bring back into my art later on that I'm trying to share with people. And whenever people say like, oh, when I saw your art, it made me smile, it made me so happy. And I'm like, that's exactly like, that's my purpose <laughs> is to create something that, um, can spark happiness in someone else. And it's basically me trying to share that with other people from playing outside. So um, yeah, they, they go hand in hand, trying to create. Well, so that's another funny timing that happened with uh, coming to Nelson and painting this mural because um, the, the window that uh, the organizers gave me was the only window uh, I could have done in that timeline, in that month. So basically the day after the opening of my art show was the day that I was packing up to come to Nelson. I had 10 days to spend and paint. And 10 days later was when my sister was coming to visit me in BC for the first time ever, so 15 years. So it was kind of special that she was coming and I couldn't believe that the, the timing was just so perfect, exactly what from one thing ends to when, when the other thing starts. So that being said, it had been um, a few months of me working very hard for that art show. So there wasn't any time except for that one day of packing for me to decompress and go. But when I finally hopped in my car to drive to Nelson that day, 
I remember crossing the bridge on my way out to Rostock. I was like, okay, I'm going. And um, I had this feeling of like being overwhelmed. And I just started about thinking about the size of the wall because it's a big wall. It's 30 by 40 feet. And that's the biggest wall I've ever, paint, uh, ever painted. So I'm giving like kind of, um, you know, my heart is racing. I'm almost just talking about it again. But I remember the feeling of being in my car driving, like finally having a little break from working on that art show, but then going on to something like really big, really stressful for me at the time. And I was like, oh boy, I'm nervous. I hope this goes well. And then I was like, am, am I going to cry right now? I was like, no, no, I'm not. It's going to go well. I know I got the means and like the capabilities to do it. Just gather yourself. <laughs> you can do this. And when I got there, um, it was just, there was, I wasn't even thinking about that stress anymore. As soon as I got out of the car, um, I met with Sydney and Axel, who was my wall sitter that day. And um, we set up the projector and Axel was such like great help. Sydney just made me feel so uh, comfortable, super welcoming. Um, so then I started that night and then that was my first time using a lift too. <laughs> And then everything kind of put together, like, you know, setting up the projector, making sure it was going to fit, and then driving the lift and tracing and everything. And also, right at the second we started to, uh, we wanted to set up the projector, it started to rain, but it only rained for half an hour. So um, it was kind of just everything was adding up to, uh, to add to the stress, but everything went super well. After, I feel like, you know, you just needed to break the ice. Once the image was on the wall, I started driving the lift and I started tracing with the spray paint and Axel was there to help. Everything from there, I feel like after the tracing, I was like, oh, piece of cake. I feel like from now, it's going to be just so easy. I just go in and fill in the lines. Um, and that's what happened, even though the weather was really hot, which actually wasn't even the hottest of the summer. So I got kind of lucky. I got that little window between the, the rain and the extreme heat. So that went really well, actually. And uh, there was a big part of the day where I could paint in the shade. And there was tons of people walking by um, that was super friendly. Everybody just stopped and was like, oh, nice mural, nice mural. And I met a few people, say, that had um, their kids or their nieces or their nephew who were excited to uh, become an artist. And they were taking pictures to send them, be like, look, this could be you one day. <laughs> and then these people start following me on Instagram. And I was like, oh, so it was kind of like a cool, uh, a cool, like a network um, aspect of the, the whole process. That was pretty cool to be able to talk to everyone, which is another thing. I, I spent so much time talking to everyone. And I told you this when we were uh, working together one day, I was like, I should probably focus more on the painting than the talking but i just couldn't help it so but it was such a great experience start to finish i started really stressed but as soon as the tracing was done everything and it just fell into place and uh, yeah it was a really great time and a really great community to connect with as an emerging artist myself uh the goal is to grow bigger um just i don't know follow our dreams um, you know, everything, I don't know why, but everything in terms of goals always seems to, like our, our appetite for goals seems to get bigger. You know, you do, you achieve one thing, you want to get to the next level, to the next level. So I feel like uh, my advice to emerging artists who um, have the dreams of always stepping to the next level is um, just take every opportunity, but also Take the opportunities that you know will bring you in the direction of your dreams. Not take all the opportunities that will uh, maybe, uh, what's the word I'm looking for from French? <laughs> well, yeah, basically just focus on taking the opportunities that will bring you closer to your next goal and say, be able to say no. And that's hard because opportunities are always so tempting. But um, don't fall in the trap of taking all the opportunities. Focus on the ones that you know is the continuity towards your goals. <laughs> I guess I'm speaking for, <laughs> from my own experience. So I should listen to my own advice. <laughs>
I really liked meeting the whole team. The, the whole team was so nice. Everyone was so interesting. Uh, I feel like I, I met really interesting people and was like amazing to share experiences or just, you know, get to know people. That, and everybody, everybody I met was in, into arts or artists themselves. So right off the bat, we already had a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of stuff in common, a lot in common. And uh, it's funny because, yeah, I met everybody that was around me. But then during the week, there was another artist playing a role at the same time as me, Dodo. And he mentioned something to someone saying like, oh, I'd like to go meet this, this other muralist. And it happens that he's also French from France, but lives in Montreal. So we're going to have that um, as a common ground. So he showed up. And we spent some time together. He's a really interesting guy. And then I came to his mural the following day, saw his work. And it's funny because in just a small amount, I hung out with him. I feel like I learned so much. And that's the thing I'm starting to realize is the more you do, the more you soak into the, the world of arts or just the, the places that uh, are going to be the, the opportunities that will bring you to your next level, the more you learn, it it's, makes so much sense. But it took me by surprise. I was like, whoa, I was not expecting to learn so much so quickly just by meeting another artist here today. So that was really, that was a great experience. 